this is how NBA stars spend their millions. And we gotta start with Carl Anthony Towns, cause he spent his millions building the craziest gaming computer imaginable. See, uh, Cat's been gaming since he was a kid, so in 2020, he hit up some tech YouTubers to build him the ultimate gaming PC. Now, the craziest part is, this absolute beast cost him $20,000. Damn, this man cat's living the good life. But sometimes, having all this money can go horribly wrong. Because John Morant's been spending his millions a little too reckless. See, Jock cops any whip that he wants. He's got a scat pack, an Aston Martin Vantage, and even a brand new Ferrari Roma. And with a garage like that, his friends are always begging to take his cars out for a spin. So on his 23rd birthday, he was feeling generous and let him cruise around in something special. His $400,000 Rolls Royce Cullinan. And the homie's got to whip it all night long. But the very next morning, one thing became clear to Ja. His friends were driving like maniacs. Because <laughs> he walked into his garage and saw the entire front bumper falling off his Rolls Royce. Yeah, they literally crashed his Cullen. So you'd think he'd be pissed, but no. Cause later that day, Ja took to Twitter and said it's still going smooth. Cause he bought a backup Rolls Royce just for this occasion. <laughs> this man Ja's got money to blow. But he doesn't have LeBron's money. Cause this man spent 6.5 million on a watch. And this thing is boring as hell. It's got no diamonds, no sapphires, it's not set in rose gold, nothing. I mean, damn, Bron, you really spent six million on that? Even I got a nicer watch. What are you doing? And I'm wondering what Ben Simmons is doing too, because he spent $19 million in the worst way possible. The summer of 2021, Ben completely embarrassed himself in the playoffs, playing the worst games of his career. I mean, the guy was shooting less than 35% from the free throw line. Even I could shoot better than that. And after getting clowned by everyone on his team, he threw a little hissy fit, telling the world that he was done with the 76ers, and he wouldn't pick up a basketball until he was traded. Well, he should have been careful what he wished for, because Ben was fined $360,000 for every game that he missed. And uh, 54 games later, Ben had made league history, being fined a ridiculous $19 million. And to this day, he's been fined more than LeBron, Steph, Giannis, KD, Draymond, and the entire Eastern Conference combined. That is nuts. But it's still not as crazy as how Luka Doncic spends his millions. I mean, first of all, this dude bought one of the weirdest pets ever, a horny toad. Me and Luca Jr. want to say, give him hell, TCU. I forgot my horny toad in the house, man, so <laughs> next time I'll bring that. You should have brought Dorian's horse. <laughs> no, no, my horny toad. You know what's a horny toad? I don't think I do. And if that wasn't weird enough, Luca even spent thousands of dollars building a horse statue and creating custom Luca ones for his teammate's horse. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Man, Luca dropped haystacks. But his most expensive purchase came in 2023, as Luca pulled up to one of his games, driving a $300,000 Hellfire Apocalypse, aka a tank. How about Luca's new tank truck that he drove to the game? Oh, dude, this guy, he collects automobiles like I used to collect baseball cards or like people collect sneakers. He has got a collection. Jesus Christ, this man Luca's ready for World War III. But well, he better be thankful for that money because Jason Tatum is banned from spending his millions. Yeah, growing up, Jason and his family had no money to spare. They were living in the projects of St. Louis, working minimum wage jobs, just struggling to get by. So in 2017, Jason got his first NBA check. He was ready to ball out like he'd never balled out before. But there was one person who stopped him dead in his tracks, his mom. 
He likes nice things. <laughs> he likes nice watches. Technically, I can't say no, right? But um, I'm the one that processes all the wires and gets receipts and then insures everything and stuff like that. So he's always coming. I can tell on his face when he walks in my office that there's about to be a wire. Oh, really? It's just this expression on his face, and I know exactly what it means that I need to send someone some money. He's already picked something out. And when he tells me sometime the price, I'm like, what does this watch do? And he's like, but it's not the Celtic money. So we had a, we had a deal uh, before I got drafted that I couldn't spend the money I make from the Celtics, that we had to live off endorsements. And her and my accountant agreed. Yeah, I was just trying to save Jason from himself. But I think he's gonna be fine after all. Cause while he can't spend his NBA money, Jason still makes millions in endorsements every year. And this man is spending it all. I'm talking $350,000 on a Rolls Royce rate, half a million on his wrist, and even a $4 million crib that has a basketball court just for his son Deuce. They didn't know that I would make, you know, as much as I did off the court. Um, so in my mind, you know, I gotta spend that money. All that money, it gotta go. I gotta enjoy it. Damn, this man Tatum's in his back. But Jordan Clarkson is in the lab because he spent his millions completely transforming his body. Yeah, back in 2017, Jordan was just a normal looking guy. Clean cut, mostly shaven, and not a single drop of ink on his entire body. Uh, and just a few months later, Jordan was traded to the Cavaliers, who just so happened to have one of the most tatted players of all time, J.R. Smith. And he started rubbing off on Clarkson, because as the season went on, Jordan was pulling up to his games, looking like an art project, getting one tattoo after another, until eventually, by the end of the season, he had tatted his entire body, dropping over 20,000 on a complete transformation. And fans all over Twitter were clowning him for copying J.R. Smith. Man, those two took tip for tat to the next level, but some players are on a level of their own because Tony Parker spent millions buying his own kingdom. Yeah, in 2022, Tony was feeling royal, so he went to his home country of France and bought something out of a damn fairy tale, the Chateau Saint Laurent, a 21,000 square foot castle that's over 700 years old. And this place is so big, you'll need a map just to get around because it's got 22 rooms, a winery, and even an underground tunnel that leads to other castles. But look, living in this lavish ain't cheap, because this kingdom set Tony back over 10 million. That's insane. But speaking of setbacks, we gotta talk about Clay Thompson, because what he bought with his millions changed his life forever. See, in 2019, after suffering a devastating knee injury, every day became a grind for Clay, physically and mentally. I'm talking surgeries, hundreds of hours of physical therapy, all just to keep his career alive. So to help cope with his recovery, Clay decided to treat himself with his most prized possession, a 37 foot long Axopar boat called the Splash Express. I love the water so much and it was a dream of mine to own a boat one day and when I signed my, my deal with the Warriors, I rewarded myself with one and it's honestly like changed my life, just you know, get out the water, go fishing, go diving, you know, see the coastline, see Catalina, the Channel Islands. You know, you never know when you need an escape plan, so it's nice to have a boat on hand. And with this boat, Clay sailed on the Seven Seasons style, cause it comes with a bed, a lounge area, and a kitchen, making it worth over 300,000. But hey, it was worth every penny for Clay. Battle through injury mm -hmm. for the past two years and some change. How instrumental was the water? Oh man, you. it was the biggest healer in my life at the time. Especially, you know, being in the gym, you can't even get up and down. You just gotta do some very tedious, tedious exercises every day. Anytime I get out here, you kind of forget about what you do on land. Forget about what other responsibilities you have. And for an hour or two, you're on the water, you kind of just forget that you're so present in whatever you're doing. It's kind of like a form of meditation for me. Look at Captain Clay, man, out here keeping his dreams afloat. But LeBron James is floating his way to a fortune because he has some basketball cards that are worth millions each. Back in 2003, LeBron got his hands on two of his own exquisite collection autographed rookie cards. And with only 23 in existence, these things were worth 22,000 a pop. But knowing that his career was gonna go down in history, LeBron decided to hold on to him for dear life. And thank God he did, because 17 years later, LeBron became the GOAT. 
these cards became worth 250 times more. So as of 2023, LeBron's collection is worth $10.4 million. Man, LeBron's a genius. But look, we're going from cards to carrots. Because Trey Young's got a reputation for spending millions on jewelry. And it all started his rookie season when, after getting drafted by the Hawks, Trey was welcomed to the city of Atlanta by a local legend, Quavo, who hooked him up with something so icy, the man got frostbite. I want to show y'all probably my favorite chain. Quay got it for me my rookie year. It's like his wel my welcome to Atlanta gift he gave me. It's a lot of diamonds in it. I ain't never really asked Quay what, what the details were. I don't want to get all into the details, but. This marked the beginning of Ice Trey. Cause from that point forward, he started buying up whole jewelry stores, copping a diamond snowflake chain, a boondocks piece, and even buying diamond pendants with the Trey Young logo for all of his teammates. Damn, Trey iced out the whole squad. Those are Eskimo bros. But sometimes, splurging on your team can blow up in your face. Cause DeMar DeRozan spent his millions on the worst day of his life. See, when most players hit the NBA, they take their very first check and spoil themselves for real. But that's what DeMar wishes he did, cause instead of blowing a bag on himself, he figured he'd try and do something nice for the fam. So he went out and bought 70 of his closest friends and family VIP tickets to the happiest place on earth, Disneyland, where DeMar was expecting to hit up the Magic Kingdom and be in for a day of fun. But what he got instead was a roller coaster of headaches. I think I took like, 70 some people to Disneyland. My whole family, they kids, friends. I'm getting anxiety thinking Listen, about that one. That's probably like, <laughs> I say this to this day. When I see pictures from that day, I'm that's not doing that. I'm about. not doing that. I'm not doing that <laughs> again. He don't think about the good times that we had. He thinks <laughs> nah. about the bill he paid. Let let you know that that, that was up there and one of the biggest purchases. <laughs> and he ain't even get into the hot dogs and the concessions. Yeah, and how this wasn't a dream come true at all. It was a nightmare, cause 70 VIP tickets cost DeMar over 40 grand. That's not including food, games, the cost of private security. I mean, damn, this man DeMar got his pockets run by Mickey Mouse. But hey, at least he didn't go overboard, cause Dwayne Wade spent his millions customizing a yacht. Yeah, in 2014, Dwayne was looking for the perfect spot to host his 32nd birthday party. I'm talking a place so stunning, people would remember forever. So with that, he went down to Miami Charters and rented something real bougie, a 130-foot luxury yacht called the Venetian Lady. And this thing is a floating palace. It's got two dance floors, two full bars, a state-of-the-art sound system, everything Dwayne needed to have the night of his life. While this boat ended up costing him over 15000 to rent, it got even pricier than that, cause Dwayne customized the entire yacht just for his party, wrapping the whole boat in D-Wade-themed decals. And on the inside, he Dwayne waited everything, even buying a D-Wade shoe cake. And it ended up being the ultimate birthday gift, cause by the end of it, Wade had dropped over $100,000 on his own birthday. Damn, that's a boatload of money. But some things are worth way more than a price tag. Because Bismack Biombo spent his millions saving lives. See, in 2021, Bismack's life changed forever. Because his father, Franco, unexpectedly passed away, leaving his entire family devastated. And in the following weeks, pain of losing his dad became too much to bear. So Bismack decided to step away from the NBA to be with his family, missing over seven months of basketball. But that time away wasn't for nothing, because during his break, Bismack came up with a beautiful way to honor his late father. He flew back to their home country of the Congo and spent his entire NBA salary, over $1.5 building a hospital in his dad's name. What I told my agent was my salary for this year would be going to the construction of an hospital back home uh, to give hope to the hopeless uh, at home. And those individuals that cannot take their family members out want to be able to give them better conditions uh, so that they can somewhat have hope that their loved ones will uh, be able to leave and see another day. Man, yambo has got a heart of gold. Now that's how you spend your money right there. But well, as crazy as that is, we've seen even crazier stuff go down in the NFL. Like hot air balloons crashing into the stands, record-breaking field goal kicks, and Antonio Brown's entire career. 
Look, if you want to hear more, then you need to click on this video right here. These are the 20 craziest moments in NFL history. And, uh, well, this video's over, so might as well just click it. Right? What are you doing? Click it.